perform some improvised theater for you today. But before we get started, I want everybody to stand up, turn to a complete stranger, smile, and give them a high five. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right, how did that feel? Good, yes, it feels great to connect. All right, uh, how many of you in the audience have seen improv before? All right, how many people are seeing improv for the very first time tonight? Let me hear you. Okay, great. The way it works is everything you see here on stage will be completely improvised. And improv is a collaboration, not just between the actors and the musician, but also with you, the audience. So we need you, all right? We don't need you on stage, don't worry. But we need your energy and enthusiasm, enthusiasm, and we need your voice because your suggestions are going to drive this whole show. So we need to get you warmed up a little bit. We need to have a name for you, the audience. So on the count of three, I want everyone to yell out your name. One, two, three. Jakara. Jakara. That's the name of the audience. And uh, I want you to yell out something that inspires you on three. One, two, three. Music. Yes, yes, music. Thank you. You're warmed up. Okay, so for our first game, we are going to do a completely improvised TED Talk, of course. Um, so uh, the technique that we are using for this uh, talk is that um, one person will start talking, and at any time, one of the others can just tap on the shoulder. And take over where they left off. Get it? Uh, good. So, to inspire us, please yell out some suggestions of topics that you might hear in a TED conference. So, I heard generosity. What else? Evolution. Evolution. Thank you. <laughs> laser. Laser. I heard laser. Laser. Okay, so we have generosity. Evolution. And laser. Many years ago, uh, when I first started studying uh, people's consumer behavior, I, uh, I ran into uh, a big Apple store. <laughs> the heart of, you know, consumerism. People everywhere. And I stood in the middle there and I saw something that changed my life. I saw this. You all recognize this. You probably all have this at home. It's known as an iPad. But this wasn't any other iPad. It was an iPad with a picture of a salad. And this brings me to my salad theory. <laughs> now, as we were evolving from Apes. apes to uh, people and then to even uh, better people, uh, <laughs> something happened. We became more uh, generous. <laughs> the thing about generosity that most people don't, don't know is that it, it, it brings you joy. A joy that cannot be gotten from any other, other source. A joy that brings out a positive emotion inside of you. I want everyone to close your eyes. And I want you to picture a laser um, beam. A red laser beam. Now, as you see this laser beam in your head, you're all probably I thinking... feel a bit um, weird. Um, and, and, and just strange, a laser... Laser beam in the head? This 
shows where you feel. Your feelings are at the core of the laser beam. We all have a laser beam inside of us. We, let's say it together. We all have, have a laser beam inside of us. Now, to quote Brad Pitt. <laughs> I have never, ever felt better when I was generous with a laser beam. <laughs> I felt something the first time that I was in that store, in that Apple store. You remember the story. <laughs> I felt a feeling that I was just overcome by. And it was this diverse feeling of everybody in the store and their generosity. And everyone wanted to give me apples. So I started to eat the apples. And as the apple juice ran and, and made stains on my shirt, and people started to uh, look at me. And I felt, of course, I felt, oh my God. I must look like a complete freak but a man came up to me and looked into my eyes and, and his eyes were like laser beams <laughs> shining through my soul and I just felt this is a generosity that I want to embrace and he took the shirt right off of his back and handed it to me in the most generous offer I've ever seen. And with this, I will end my speech. Be your own laser beam. Thank you. Thank you! game we will use these notes that you have written for us you wrote us a line of text a ted speaker would never say on stage yes so we are going to play three ted speakers at the after ted party uh, so to inspire this scene uh, i would like uh, what could these three people be experts in laser, laser. <laughs> what Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, yes. thank you. Psychology. And one more. Chocolate. chocolate. Yes, I take chocolate. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Let's have a last line. Yes, the last, a last line. line of the scene. So dinosaurs. Psychology. And chocolate. <laughs> oh, well. What a nice party. <laughs> yes. Yes, I loved your speech, by the way. It was oh. so interesting with oh. that. Yes. The psychology yes, of the polar bears. Yes, I know. the mentality. I didn't Thank know. You. I didn't know that about polar bears. Oh, well, you know, I didn't get to develop all my whole theory, actually. I, I, I mean, I lived with polar bears for yeah. years. Uh, so it's so hard when you get to a TED conference and you have to, you know, yes, just yes, yes, I know. narrow it down. Yeah, I know. That yeah. reminds me a little of my speech. Uh, you know, he could say anything, even for just presence. Uh, what I mean by that is, I'm finding this really boring and uninspiring. Oh, you, what, this, you mean this, I didn't? This okay, talk. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, well, hey, your speech was great. Look, yes, it, it was a bit old-fashioned, maybe. Yeah, and, and I have sashimi in my butt crack. <laughs> well. See? Okay, what a so place to put it. Well, what's why the not? psychology when you of live that? Among polar bears for five years, you know how to store food. I'm sorry. I have. Uh, I have something to say then, um, since I'm an expert in chocolate. Yes, and uh, this one was empty. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah. Uh, I saw your speech. Pensions are an exciting party topic. So, uh, well, I'm pensions. yes, I'm saving. Uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. I I usually yeah. just eat. Uh, 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 um, Look, don't be nervous. Just say something from your heart. It's a terrible idea to speak on the stage today. <laughs> Why? I I thought. Yeah, because it it's gonna be a fire. Whoa, it's whoa! Gonna it's gonna fire. be fun. I have a solution for you. Okay. I really mm -hmm. want to marry Justin Bieber. <laughs> Dude, so do I, mean, I. Oh, can he? Oh. He moves. He moves so nicely. Oh. Look, I am uh, saying nothing. <laughs> just thinking about that. Oh, just yeah, just thinking about Justin. I mean, I'm so bored. <laughs> Of you guys, not Justin, because the thoughts okay, well, is what well, people... well, then go. Um, go. I'm not much of a speaker, I but... Know that. Uh, we saw that earlier. We saw that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I just want to say something, and I'm going to say it to you, because... Um, well... Here. Uh, why am I here? I... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're, you you do not want to be here. You're a nervous speaker. Your chocolate speech was like, I, yeah. I knew all that. I know. <laughs> I've uh, eaten chocolate. We uh, prefer to have old women as consumers for TED. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a fact. I've heard the producers. Yeah. Well, old women is a very big consumer group, actually. And you know what? And that is why I voted for George Bush. <laughs> Oh, well, you're not... Yeah. Because he takes care of old women. We all know that. Well, uh, you're not really allowed to say that kind of stuff. That's political. Oh. Yes, so... But that uh, was years ago. Okay. Uh, well, sleep, sleep, snoring. Uh, so I think I better go. Like, I, I just want <laughs> to... I, I think this is 100% true. I think. Uh, I'm not... 100% sure, but um, nothing is possible. <laughs> I don't think, I mean, nothing is possible. We come here to, to, you know, change the world, but has the world changed? Listen. No. It hasn't. Hasn't. Nice to see you, okay? You're, you're a downer, and you know what? We just got noticed there is a bomb threat. What? You were yeah. right. So I am right. I, I am not just an expert in chocolate. I am also uh, a psychic. Uh, so I'm going to tell you one last thing. I'm going to put down my beer. I love speaking in front of so many people. Yes. yes. It was all a lie. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Yes. Okay, thank you. For this last game, we have an expert here with us tonight. Katerina and Veronica, you are an expert in all things TED. And the catch is they can only talk together in one voice, okay? So uh, you might have heard a lot of topics here today. I need a suggestion of topics you'd love to deepen your knowledge of that you heard today. Bitcoin, I'm taking the first one. Thank you. Yes, Bitcoin. All right, uh, we have an expert here today. Hello. What is your name? My, My name, name is Marlin. 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 Excellent. And you are an expert in Bitcoin. Yes, yes I'm, I'm an, an expert, expert in Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And, and the thing, thing about, about Bitcoin, Bitcoin is that, that it's so simple. <laughs> oh, interesting, because uh, what I heard earlier is that it's quite complex. So please. Oh, no, 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 no. It's so easy. You, you just, just have to be inside, inside your, your brain. brain. <laughs> You just have to be inside your brain. Yes, you, you have, have to, to be inside, inside your brain. The, the 
wallet is in your brain. So, uh, where is it? Where is it in the brain? Oh, it's in here. In a part called Sino. The what? The Sino. The seagull. No, the Sino. The Sino. Yes, it's, it's a, a technical, technical term. term. And uh, please explain that technical term. Oh, you, you must have a frog. <laughs> you have to have a frog. Yes, a, a frog, frog that you use when you show your brain. Okay, the f you use the frog when you show your brain, then what happens? Then, then the little frog goes, what? And then, then you drop the brain on the floor. And all the body is on the floor. <laughs> wow, so the money is actually released by the frog. Yes! The money is released by the frog. Excellent. And uh, I know. I know you actually wrote a poem about this uh, discovery in Bitcoin that you've come to share with us today. Yes. Oh, Bitcoin. 